so welcome to you welcome to you if you've joined us a number of times or a special welcome to you if this is your first chance to worship with us here on a morning you'll normally find us on facebook around about eight o'clock monday to friday I welcome you this morning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today, the Church remembers Gregory, Bishop of Nyssa, and his sister Macrina, Deaconess, both teachers of the faith, around about 394 and 3. Seven, nine. <clears throat> o Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. A song of God's compassion, words from Psalm 103. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made, he remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass we flourish as a flower of the field, for as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord is from of old, and endures forever on those who fear him, and his righteousness on children's children, on those who keep his covenant, and remember his commandments to do them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 1, and the refrain is, The Lord knows the way of the righteous. The Lord knows the way of the righteous. Blessed are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the assembly of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Lord, and they meditate on his law day and night. Like a tree planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season, with leaves that do not wither. Whatever they do, it shall prosper. The Lord knows the way of the righteous. As for the wicked, it is not so with them. They are like chaff, which the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked shall not be able to stand in the judgment nor the sinner in the congregation 
of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. The Lord knows the way of the righteous. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our Old Testament canticle, A Song of Deliverance, is from Isaiah chapter 12. The refrain at the very beginning and the end. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid, for the Lord God is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises, who has triumphed gloriously let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. Our New Testament reading this morning is from St Paul's letter to the early church in Corinth, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, beginning this morning at verse 1. I wish you would bear with me in a little foolishness do bear with me. I feel a divine jealousy for you, for I promised you in marriage to one husband to present you as a, a chaste virgin to Christ, but I'm afraid that as the serpent deceived Eve by its cunning, your thoughts will be led astray from a sincere and pure devotion to Christ. For if someone comes and proclaims another Jesus than the one we proclaimed, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you received, or a different gospel from the one you accepted, you submit to it readily enough. I think that I am not in the least inferior to these super apostles. I may be untrained in speech, but not in knowledge. Certainly, in every way and in all things, we have made this evident to you. Did I commit a sin by humbling myself so that you might be exalted? Because I proclaimed God's good news to you free of charge. I robbed other churches by accepting support from them in order to serve you and when I was with you and was in need I did not burden anyone for my needs were supplied by the friends who came from Macedonia so I refrained and will continue to refrain from burdening you in any way as the truth of Christ is in me this boast of mine will not be silenced in the regions of Achaia. And why? Because I do not love you? God knows I do. 
And what I do, I will also continue to do, in order to deny an opportunity to those who want an opportunity to be recognised as our equals in what they boast about. For such boasters are false apostles, deceitful workers, disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So it is not strange if his ministers also disguise themselves as ministers of righteousness. Their end will match their deeds. For the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. just pause I'm not sure if anything has resonated with you this morning from our readings So this morning for Judith, she's taking the phrase, I will trust and not be afraid, from our canticle this morning. I will trust and not be afraid. That's Isaiah chapter 12. Thank you, Judith. Was the thing that struck me something I hadn't thought of for quite some time in 2 Corinthians is what Paul is describing in that middle segment about how he was supported by other churches in order to serve the, the Christians the church in Corinth and how his needs were met by friends in Macedonia. But Paul was also very much self-supporting. He was also a tent maker. So just now and again we get references to Paul being there in the marketplace making tents or repairing tents. morning Carol okay. 
trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. And the Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. The refrain at the very beginning and the end is, Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. And now for our prayers, and we'll continue to pray um, for everyone affected by the floods in Germany and Belgium. And we'll pray for these next steps now in England. Please do pray for one another using the comments box if you wish and we will have a time of silent prayer. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ let us pray to the Father. Loving God we begin by holding before you All who have been affected by the flooding that has swept through Germany and Belgium and claimed so many lives, so many livelihoods and homes, devastated communities. We ask that you will hold each and every man, woman and child. That 
that you will support the emergency services. The community leaders. Chancellor Merkel said there was nothing nor words in the German language to explain the devastation and shock of what has taken place. Holy Spirit, comfort these communities, Lord. May the light of your Son, Jesus Christ, shine in the darkest moments of this disaster. And we pray for friends and family who are around the world unable to be close by, waiting on news. May they too feel held by you. You are always there, Lord, by our side. Sometimes we forget. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, many of our schools are about to break up for the summer break. We pray for our school leaders and teachers and support teams. We thank you for their boundless energy and creativity. We thank you for parents and carers that have made it through another difficult school year. We give you thanks for our children and young people. May these next six or seven weeks be joyful. And they all have a well deserved rest. We don't seem to be very good at rest at the moment, Lord. There's just so much going on. 24 hour news. May we each find moments of rest with you today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for our government. Here in the UK, we pray for our leaders in England, of local councils, hospital trusts, we pray for our GPs, our doctors and nurses, our healthcare workers. May they remain resilient, Lord despite the fatigue and today the first day when the things that have helped keep numbers down are removed. May today be a day of good decisions. Give us your wisdom Lord. 
when people do the right thing. May we respect the space of others. May we respect the guidelines, no longer law. And bring us safely to the other side of this storm, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And in a time of silence, Heavenly Father, we lift the prayers of our hearts to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for all who are suffering in mind, body or spirit. Today we pray by name for John Ellison, Jessica McCaskill, Harry Waggett, Doreen Moig, Andrew Garvick, Mrs Hewitt, Sid Harrison, Pat Middleton, Dorothy Macbeth, Stella Matthews, Michael Hughes, Chris Haynes, John Pike, Anne Taylor, Rod Taylor, Carol Woodfield, Christine, Beatrice Yorston, Wynne Alderslade, Grant, Sheena, Gillian, Mavis, Harriet Fraser, Grant Macbeth, Susan Fisher, Ruth Banks, James Shepherd, Marjorie Carruthers, Brian Henderson, Anne Henderson, Brenda Prophet, Stan, Gary, Jim, John Thorburn, Ashton, Marion, Betty Hall, Isla Mohammed, Gary Patterson, Jonathan Hall, June Barris, Irene McConaughey, Judith, Derek Yorston, Tracy, Valerie, Tony, Lisa, Michelle, and for those people on our hearts today. May they know your healing presence in their lives, your comfort and your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we lift to you all who are grieving this morning. anyone planning a funeral or attending a funeral and to those walking alongside them. This morning we pray for the repose of the soul of Ronnie Smith, Anne Stevenson, Frankie Dunn, we commend them to you as we commend all those we love but no longer see into your eternal care. Let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen.
and our collect for today. Lord of eternity, creator of all things, in your Son Jesus Christ you open for us the way to resurrection that we may enjoy your bountiful goodness. May we who celebrate your servants Gregory and Macrina press onwards in faith to your boundless love and ever wonder at the miracle of your presence among us. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just picking up your prayer, Serena, praying that COVID, the COVID third wave will be under control and that the vaccination is working for me. Thank you for joining us for morning prayer this morning. Our next service on this Facebook page will be 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Please do take care today. Remember hands, face, space, fresh air. These things may no longer be written in law, but they are still very strong guidelines. Especially places like South Tyneside, where rates are still very, very high. So do take care, let me send you on with God's blessing. I hope you find a chance for rest today. And I hope you find comfort in the Holy Spirit, if that's what you need today. May God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you this day and always and grant you his peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit remain with you and those who you love this day and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ.